Hi, I'm Amanda Dotson, and I'm going to show you how to make glitter text with your words to add to a banner, your homepage, or anything else you want to do. This is Adobe Photoshop CS5 that I am using. First, you want to go to File, New. Um, I'm going to have 800 by 447 pixels. Just for this tutorial to show you, it is a little big. And I'm going to color my background black. I'm going to get the text tool right here. And I am going to type in bounce house. Now my text for some reason is showing up the same color that I do everything. So I want to go to my character, just change it to blue to bring it up. There it is. I need to capitalize that B. So I have bounce house. Now on your layers, um, to make the red outline, like on this one, I'm going to make sure your layer is selected. Go down here to the FX. You want to add stroke. I'm going to change it to red, just like that. You can change it to any color you want. This is just adding the outline around your picture. But I'm going with red because it's simple. Um, I also like to do bevel and emboss. And this, if you look, it adds highlights and shadows to your words and gives it more dimension. So I'm going to bring it up to a 9. You're softened to a size 1 the depth, oh, I'm going to say 164. It's really up to you. There's a lot of things in the styles that you can play around with, but I'm just going to leave it like that because this is a simple tutorial. Now you want to take your layer. And down here at the very bottom is, it looks like a little piece of paper. It's next to the trash can, and that will duplicate your layer. So you want to click on your layer and drag it down to that paper layer. You want to do this five times. So there's three, four, five. Now click your first layer, go to filter up here on top, noise, add noise. Now I'll say it'll need to be rasterized, so just click OK and that'll do it for you. Have your first one be 30, so set to 30. You want to add Gaussian. Click OK. Now click your second layer. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Click OK again. Now you want to go up by 2, so click 32, Enter. And I go up by 2 on all of them, so go to your third one, Filter, Noise, Add Noise. OK, so this will be 34. Then your fourth one, go to Filter, Noise, add noise, 36, and then your last one, filter, noise, add noise, okay, this will be 38. Now you can see there's noise in here. Now to get it to animate, you want to go to Window, Animation, and now I'll bring up a new animated frame down here. Since we have six layers, you're going to go to your little paper again to duplicate. Two, three, four, five, six. So now you have all six layers. Now you want to go to your very first one. And see these little eyeballs? That turns your layer on and off. So for your, for your first one, you want to make sure your first layer, there's an eyeball. Click your second frame and click your second picture and unclick your first picture. So only your second frame is showing. Go to your third, go to your th third over on your layers, and then click the first one. Go to your fourth, go to your fourth over here, go to your fifth, go to your fifth over there. I guess I made too many. And then if you click down here, you'll have five little layers and there's a play button. So if you hit play and you watch, it'll start to animate just like that. 
Now, what I did on this one, I added the sparkles, if you watch it. That's very easy to do. So go to your, what you've done, and then down here, click your first layer, click new layer to make a new layer. Go to your brushes, find a sparkle brush that you have, I have this one, and have it set to white or red or pink, and click on your picture where you want your sparkles to show up. This will be the first layer. So I have all my sparkles. Now you want to stick up, click on your second layer. Unclick that layer because you don't want it to show. Make a new layer. Get a new sparkle brush which we'll use this one. And it's not showing up that well, so we'll go get a different brush. How about that one? And just click wherever you want your sparkles to show up. Just like that. Down on your animation, click number three. Unclick the two layers you just made. Make a new layer. Get a new brush for new sparkles. Change your size. You can add as many or as few as you want. You can change the size on all these. Um, I like glitter, so I like a lot of sparklies. Click number four, and you want to unclick all these other layers. Make a new layer. Add sparkles on this layer. I'm just going really fast to get this done and to show you the basics. Then click all these layers. Let's get a new brush for this last one. Just want to click everywhere. And hopefully, yeah, they're. Okay, that's why your frames, you want to show what you want shown in each frame. So your first frame, you only want the first two. Second frame, you want the next two. Third frame, you want the next. Just go all through it, just like that. And if you click your play button, it will be all animated. Now, whenever you save an animated picture, you want to save it as a GIF. A GIF. So you go to Save for Web. And we are going to name it Bounce House. And click Enter. Let's go to my desktop and find Bounce House. Right there it is. Open it. And it should be showing all animated. And that's how it will look like on the web. Hope you liked my tutorial. Thanks.